Hello everyone, welcome back to Humankind. I didn't think I would be making this Humankind update video today, yet here I am. This video is about the big October patch and I have mostly bad news with a little bit of good news and then toward the end of the video we'll open up the discussion a bit more but as always with these humankind news coverage videos i will try and bring you the most important information up front so i don't get endless trolls telling me how i'm covering this in too much detail let's jump straight into the juicy stuff and then move into some of the more discussive pieces towards the end of this video first and foremost the big news about the so-called big october update i hate to break it to you and unfortunately this is really hot off the press but unfortunately it is no longer going to be a big october update it is now being labeled the Fabius Maximus update. Fabius or Fabulous, who knows? Regardless, that's what it's being called. And let me just take you straight into the detail and then we'll discuss what it means. So the developers came out this morning on the Games Together forums and said, hello everyone, quote, unfortunately we have some bad news to share about the upcoming Fabius Maximus update. While testing it, we discovered some major issues that we are not confident we will be able to fix in time for the intended October 28th release. That is actually today, at the time of me recording this over here in New Zealand. Consequently, uh, they go on to say, quote, Consequently, we had to make the tough decision of delaying this update by a week into the first week of November, which also pushes the follow-up patch with end condition options and unit balancing closer to the middle of November, end quote. Basically, the coverage, the things that I've talked about earlier, the changes to the early and late game, the cultural balancing, so on and so forth, is no longer coming in October. That is the bad news. Equally, another little bit of bad news tucked in there, the follow-up patch that will give us those extra game options for uh, resource allocation, pollution, turning on, on and off, so on and so forth, is now not coming until the middle of November. That's our bad news. There has, however, a little silver lining to this cloud. Let me take you through what else was discussed. Quote, we know many of you were excited to try the improvements brought to the game by this update, but we think that delaying until these issues have been resolved is the better option. However, we may, and I will jump out of the quote here just to stress may, <laughs> carrying on, we may be able to provide a beta version through Steam for those willing to give it a try. Uh, they then go on to say, frankly, with a nickname, Fabius Maximus, we should not be surprised by this turn of events, but we still want to apologize for the additional delay. Thank you for your patience and understanding the Amplitude team. A couple of things to unpack inside of that quote. Firstly, they're promising, suggesting, I should say, that there could be a beta version of this patch coming to Steam. Should we expect it on the 28th of October? Uh, Probably not, <laughs> but maybe, I have no idea. Either way, it looks like we might get our hands, our greasy little hands, on a little beta version to test before this goes live. The bad news and the crux of this video is that the patch is no longer coming in October. So, so my previous two videos on the big October update are now entirely irrelevant because it is not a big October update. Looks like we're getting a big November update. Uh, a couple of things to note, Age of Empires is coming out on the 28th of October, which was the scheduled date for this patch update. I'm not at all suggesting that that's planned. In fact, I, I don't believe it to be. But it is perhaps a, a good thing for us players if we don't have to split our time between a juicy new humankind update and a juicy new game. For those interested in Age of Empires, I understand not everybody watching this will be, but nice that we're having our sort of, you know, our peak moments to look forward to and our new amount announcements sort of spread out a little bit better better. And of course, with that promise of the beta patch, maybe we do still get to play with this in later October, earlier November. Touching on the other thing that's mentioned in this, with the nickname Fabius Maximus, we should not be surprised by this turn of events. For those unfamiliar and who can't be bothered looking up their Roman history, uh, Fabius Maximus, Fabius Maximus, a Roman uh, statesman, military general, some might even say dictator, who had a nickname, I believe, which literally translated to delayer because this man was known for his delaying tactics in warfare. 
I'm not sure if this update had that name before or after the announcement of this delay though. So I'm not sure if it was uh, <laughs> foreshadowing for what was to come or if it was tacked on afterwards to make do. But either way, I love it. It's a fantastic name for a wonderfully delayed update. And I think, and actually to touch on here as I move through into the last part of this video, the more reflective piece here, away from the facts and more towards our thoughts and feelings from what we discussed a little bit in my live stream today, but also from what I've been reflecting on the patch here, I think in general, it's hard to complain and it's hard to be frustrated at this. Yes, of course, when you're promised something in October and it isn't delivered, regardless of what it might be, that is always going to be disappointing. And I think that that disappointment comes from a genuine deep-seated interest in seeing the game succeed and in wanting to enjoy what the game has to offer, right? It comes from a good place, but of course it's disappointing. I wanted it in October, you said it would be October and now it isn't, right? Naturally, that feels disappointing. But then of course the other side, and actually a lot of people on Twitter mentioned this in their uh, replies to the tweet. Um, you know what? Take your time. Take a couple of extra weeks. I would much rather have this be in a well-polished, ready-to-use state than to have a launch that potentially jeopardizes the changes, right? If you put something out before it's ready, it jeopardizes the changes, potentially really overshadowing the hard work that's been done through a shaky and unstable launch of a patch, right? And we can relate this through to Humankind or to any other game, really. But Ultimately, the crux of it is, and in my opinion anyway, and this is but the opinion of one moron on the internet granted, but my opinion is, you know what Amplitude, take the time you need. Thanks for letting me know, thanks for providing really good detail, but also to the point, weekly if not more regular updates so that those of us who are interested in the development of humankind, and if you're still watching this video at this point, you very clearly are, so that we can be informed, right? And I love that. It's much better than being left in the dark, not knowing what's coming, when it's coming, or why, or if anything's coming. So really, I have to say two things. Firstly, absolutely disappointed that this patch isn't launching. But secondly, on the bright side, it is coming. It's just gonna be a little bit later. We're still getting what we want. And maybe actually, as I said at the beginning of the video, every cloud has a silver lining because now we can put our attention, our late October attention, potentially into other things like, dare I say, Age of Empires 4, which by the way, I will absolutely be covering on the channel hopefully a review, but at the very least a couple of live streams so that we can continue to really enjoy what is, I believe, a glorious time to be a 4X, a glorious time to be an RTS or strategy gamer. Thank you very much for watching. I will continue to provide coverage as we hear more, and I'll see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.